We're talking about the GOAT, the Speed GOAT. Today we're diving deep into the newest shoe from Hoka, the Hoka Speed GOAT 6. The Speed GOAT is definitely a shoe that's been in a lot of folks' rotation. Now does the 6 bring the Speed GOAT back to its glory, a trail shoe that you all should be looking at? Today's video, I go over the good, the bad, and would I buy the shoe? Should you buy this shoe? Now, before I do, I do want to point out one thing. Hoka sent me this shoe for a review, but they'll have no opinion on what I put in this video. Now, before I dive into the good, the bad, the ugly, all the information you need about the Speed Goat, I do have one thing to ask you. Hit the like button and smash that subscribe button. You know you want to. It helps the channel and absolutely costs you nothing. Now sit back, relax, and let's talk about the Hoka Speed Goat 6. Because I'm a positive guy, I'm going to talk about the positives first about the Speed Goat 6. The first one, I, I just love the looks of this shoe. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but I love the collaboration between Hoka, who is a main sponsor of the Western States 100. The, uh, it just... It just does something for me. And again, I understand not everybody's going to love that. And I do know the Speed Goat 6 has some other tamer colors. But for me, this thing just looks freaking awesome. I love the colors. I love the oranges. I love the plum. I love the yellows. It just hits the mark for me. And honestly, when you're out on the trails, it just looks, looks freaking sick out there. Uh, the other thing I'm going to point out is I do think they made some really nice updates to the upper. They made it a slightly wider. I have a somewhat... Uh, Whitish foot, not wide, but whitish. And I found the five to be a little restricting. I'm finding the six to be a little bit better. I also think the materials they used are a little bit more durable. I think they added the, the materials. The, I know the five, a lot of people had issues with ripping from the side. I do think the materials they're using feel a little bit tougher. And I do think it could lead to more durability with this shoe. Because one thing that sucks about a shoe is when you find something you love, when it rips the side, I do think they definitely answered the bell with that. The other thing I do want to point out, I found the shoe to have a great lockdown. I tied the shoe and I had no issues at all. I know some folks had issues with Hoka's in the past, but for me, honestly, it fits true to size. I want a nine and a half in men's. It fit perfect to me. I tied the shoe and I forgot that it was on. And honestly, that's the number one thing you want. You want a shoe you tie and you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm having heel slippage. Definitely not the case with that. So again, those are the things I really liked about the shoe. A lot of the upper just hit the mark for me. But with the good, you gotta have some bad. It's not all Jim Walmsley breaking course records at Western States. It, it, there's some issues with this shoe. Um, the big one being the foam. I just found this foam to be too firm for me. Honestly, I was taking this out on double digit runs and it just never broke in. I have 34, 35 miles into the shoe, give or take, and the foam just hasn't broken in. And if you need more than a 50K to break in, I, I worry about the shoe and you should definitely look into it. I found this foam to be too firm and I just, it's not responsive. I felt like I was going out on runs and it just was too stiff, too firm, and I felt like I was fighting the shoe too much to be quite frank. Hoka has some rad foams out there. Usually when I pick up a Hoka with the Profi it's just, and the Profi Plus and all these great foams that they have, it just, I put them on and I feel like I'm springing for it. I'm just boom and I'm cruising. I feel fast and, and I love the feel of this. I'm just not getting that from the shoe. I just don't get that Wow, I want to put this shoe on because it feels so comfortable. I would worry about if I were trying to do an ultra race that my foot would just start hurting because there's just not enough comfort to it. And for trail running, I know some people are like, oh, with road running, it's completely different. For trail running, there are going to be sections in which you walk. There's going to be times when you're doing an ultra where you're just walking. Either you're tired or whatever, and you want something on your feet to baby your legs. You want it to be comfortable. And it just doesn't do that for me. The, the Speed Goat 6, it, I think it just got firmer. I found the 5 to be firm, but it finally broke in and I was able to get it. I was never able to get this shoe to break in. And the biggest issue for me has to be the foam. So there you have it. You heard the good and you heard the bad. Now, would I buy this shoe? Would I recommend you buying this shoe? If you love the Speed Goat, buy this shoe. 
For everybody else, I would just hold off until they update this foam. I'm actually just pretty disappointed in this shoe. I just don't think the foam is what Hoka's all about. I'm telling you, I have other shoes from Hoka that I'm just like, whoo, baby in my legs, this is awesome. This shoe just kind of fell short. Maybe if you love a firm shoe, yeah, I think this one would be perfect for you. Again, I do think the upper is fantastic. I love the looks of it. I got a great lockdown in this shoe, but I just want a little bit more comfort. I definitely, on an ultra trail run, especially in this heat where I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking, I want something to baby my feet. That's the type of runner I am. I'm a baby when it comes to it. Give me the stack, give me the comfort. So again, I think it falls a little short for me. The Hoka Speed Goat 6, update the foam, and I think you might got something, Hoka. Update the foam, keep this upper, and we might have something cooking. So y'all heard my opinion, you heard my good, you heard my bad, and you heard my verdict. Now I want to hear from you. Have you tried the Speed Goat 6? What are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Drop it in the comments below because I'm curious what y'all have to say.